week's Blockbusters with your host, Simon Mayo. Hello again and welcome to Blockbusters. Thank you for joining us. And even though I can't believe anyone out there still doesn't understand Blockbusters, I'm going to explain it again. Listen very carefully. I shall say this only once per show. There before us, you see the Blockbusters board. Each hexagon contains the first letter to the answer of a general knowledge question. What we want to know is whether a solo player can make a connection across the board faster than a team of two by answering those questions. Our solo player has to make their way top to bottom, white to white, while our pair are attempting to connect across the board, blue to blue. It's the best of three, and that's all there is to it. We're in the first game with Sarah from Kettering, playing against current champions Fiona and James from Manchester. But let's not talk about it anymore. Let's play Blockbusters. <laughs> Fiona and James, it was your choice of letter next. Where would you like to go? Um, please may I have a G? What G is the biblical book which relates Sarah? Genesis. The story of how God created the world. Genesis is what we wanted. Yes, well done. <laughs> and your choice next? Um, O, please, Simon. What O requires a map, a compass? Fiona. Orienteering. And the ability to find your way from one fixed point to another competitively Orienteering is right, yes. <laughs> and your choice now? I'll have a J, please. Why not? What J is a Creole or Cajun rice dish, James? Jambalaya. Made with seafood or chicken, jambalaya is right. Well done. <laughs> uh, may I have an E, please, Simon? What E is the surname of the comedian whose book is called The Life of Lee? James. Evans? Evans is the right answer, yes. <laughs> Very fast out of the blocks, we have a flashing blue board. Sarah, you're going to have to get to that buzzer very, very yep. quickly. <laughs> but it is Fiona and James to choose. Uh, may I have an N, please, Simon? What N was the nationality of the explorer who first reached James? Norwegian. First reached the South Pole in 1911. Norwegian is right. Well done. That's Blockbusters. <laughs> Roald Amundsen, of course, was the guy we were talking about. Well done to Fiona and James. Sarah, our hotshot lawyer and one of the best female racing drivers in the country. You were talking about the cars that you love. How many cars do you actually own? Five. Right. That's fantastic. <laughs> and what is what would be the pride of your collection? Um, probably my race car, my Abarth AC. Is it like a soft top and huge elongated thing? What is it? No, like? it's like a little Fiat 500. <laughs> okay. well, uh, one minute I really wanted it, now I don't think I do. Uh, you would if you drove it. Really? What's so great about it's, it? It runs on slick, so it's nothing like the road car at all. It's very, very quick, goes around corners like it's on rails. And you've walked away from a pretty nasty crash, haven't you? Um, I had a rear wheel failure at about 110 miles an hour and rolled the car seven times. Wow. That's shocking. But you were OK? You just walked away from that? Uh, sort of. I, I, the, the car ended up the right way up. Um, I got out of the car myself. Um, I was blind, couldn't see anything. Everything was white. Um, but that came back after about 10 minutes and I just dislocated both my shoulders and bruised my thigh. Why don't you just... <laughs> Just stick to law and stamp collecting That's or something. Nowhere near as much fun. <laughs> right. And you, but you still want to carry on? Oh, yeah, definitely. All right. uh, you know you're one down, so... And you saw how fast that I know, worked. he's quick. OK. Mm. So, wish you all the best for this next game. It is the best of three. We're moving on. Here's our next board. It's a flashing bee. That's where we're going to start. So, let's play Blockbusters. <laughs> What B is the host country of the 2014 James? Brazil. FIFA World Cup, it's Brazil. You're right, quite right. <laughs> Blue hexagon on the board. Uh, may I have an L, please, Simon? What L is a generic name for a high quality computer printer using a beam? James? Laser. Laser is right, yes. <laughs> yeah. How fast is he? You're, you're sitting next to him, virtually. Yeah, very. Are you, and you're all hitting the buzzers. Yeah. It's just yeah. that. The man is fast. We're next, James. Uh, may I have an S, please, Simon? What S is to bang a door shut? Sarah. Slam. Slam is right. Yay! Yes, well done. 
You have your first white hexagon on the board. Where next? Uh, can I have a tea, please, Simon? What tea is a bride traditionally carried over when... Sarah? Threshold. When entering a new home, threshold is the right answer. <laughs> Two hexagons each. C, please. What C goes before du soleil for the name James? Cirque. Of a cutting-edge circus. Cirque is right. Cirque du soleil, of course. Oh, he'll be very happy. And well blocks right in the middle there. May we have an I, please, Simon? What I is a country which has the second Sarah? Iceland. It's the wrong answer. Ooh. I know what you were trying to do, but the full <laughs> questions of Fiona and James, no conferring. What I is a country which has the second largest population in the world? James. India. India is the right answer, yes. <laughs> Sarah, clearly, you, you know, you've got the right idea. If you're going to beat them, you're going to have to get in quick, but that's the, <laughs> that's the dangerous game that you're playing. And may we have an A, please, Simon? What A in the movie business follows... <laughs> Fiona. Action. Follows lights, camera, oh. action <laughs> is the right answer. <laughs> well interrupted. <laughs> An inspired or crazy interruption brings up another flashing blue board. Sarah's thinking, what have I got to do to get on this thing? Uh, OK, flashing blue, Fiona and James, you don't have to apologise. And your choices. D? Yes, please. May we have a D, please? What D is meant by the word caries when the dental treatment... <laughs> Fiona. Dental. Sorry. It's the wrong answer. Full question to Sarah. What D is meant by the word caries when the dental treatment required is a filling? No idea. Decay or decomposition. Another D for everybody. What D are things like paper tissues, wet wipes or nappies, Sarah? Disposable. That are made to be thrown away after use. Disposable is right, well done <laughs> and well blocked right in the middle. You're still in the game, Sarah, so where do you want to go next? Um, M for mother, please, Simon. What M is the medical term for the upper jawbone? <coughs> James. The mandible. It's the wrong answer. I'll give the full question again to Sarah. What M is the medical term for the upper jawbone? I was going to say mandible as well. <laughs> Mandible's the lower jawbone. <laughs> ah, That's the lower so jawbone. Fiddle. I was going to ask our medical student Fiona, does she know the answer? Is it maxilla? It is maxilla, oh. but... Ro it's the wrong one. <laughs> he pressed. <laughs> he pressed. <laughs> and so he answered, yes, maxilla is the right answer, but you didn't give it, so uh, we move on with another M. What M did fruit, nuts and oats become when the Swiss... Sarah? Mixed. It's the wrong answer, Fiona and James, full question. What M did fruit, nuts and oats become when the Swiss turned them into breakfast food? <laughs> Fiona. Muesli. Muesli is right, yes. Uh, may we have an R, please? What R is a massive party in a field, or James? Rave. Or disused building, it is a rave, of course, yes. <laughs> Another flashing blue board. Sarah, that spells trouble, I think. You need to be on this, cos it's one hexagon away from blockbusters. Your choice, Fiona and James. May we have a P, please? What P is a distinct passage in a printed page? <coughs> Fiona. Paragraph. That begins on a new line or is oh, indented. Well Paragraph is the right answer. Well done, and that is Blockbusters. <laughs> James kisses Fiona, which is a sort of a customary uh, treat for Fiona at the end of each game. Uh, Sarah, they are so fast. So quick. They are so, so quick. quick. Uh, but it's been great having you on the programme. Thank you. Uh, you don't go away empty-handed, of course, because you are taking away our brand new, very exciting consolation prize, and this is it. Go digital and read all of your favourite books on the move with your Blockbusters e-book, courtesy of LMX. And so you take away £30. Thank you for being a great contestant. Thanks for playing Blockbusters. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> so, Fiona and James, it's another gold run. James, you went first, and it was agonising, and he didn't <laughs> cross it. And then Fiona went, and it was agonising. Yeah. <laughs> James, what are you going to do this time? Uh, 
Win, yes, I'm going to win. <laughs> That's what I like to hear. You ready to go? <laughs> Certainly. Put yourself on the hotspot feed. <laughs> James, whilst you gather your thoughts, we're going to take a pause. Join us after the break to see how he does. See you soon. <laughs> we're here in June's kitchen. Thanks, mate. Round. Hello and welcome back to Blockbusters, where James is chomping at the bit <laughs> down there on the hotspot. Third gold run board. James, as you know, you have 60 seconds to make your way across, connecting left to right, gold to gold. If you make it to the other side, you'll win the third gold run prize. You can pass on any question. James, your time starts as soon as you tell me where you'd like to begin. AM, please, Simon. The name of Gwyneth and Chris's fruity-sounding daughter. Apple... Mm. Yes. SU. <laughs> Clothing identity for pupils to make them look all the same. School uniform. Yes. BSD. Someone who criticises from the sidelines like a vehicle Back passenger. Backseat driver. Yes. RAJ. TV presenting husband and wife team. Richard and Judy. Yes. SM. Jai Ho was the theme song to this Oscar winning film. Slumdog Millionaire. Yes. FP. Decorating of children for fun at parties and school fairs. Face painting. Face painting is right. Well done. <laughs> and that's Blockbusters and a gold run. Yes. We won one. We <laughs> no, no, we did it. <laughs> you did. You both did it. But you got all the questions right and this is what you've won. After your third gold run, you'll be whisked away for a luxury weekend stay at a country mansion. Courtesy of Matfan Hall Spa, you'll enjoy all the benefits of the spa facilities while unwinding in the gorgeous surroundings. A weekend break at this spa, and we're sure you'll never want to leave. How's that look? Fabulous, fabulous. Considering we were thinking of just walking away with an e-book reader, that is marvellous. <laughs> well, the thing is, whatever happens now, you're going to get the e-book reader anyway. Well, now we get to read it in luxury. Yes, and you've got <laughs> loads of money, you're still going, and you've got a fantastic weekend away, and you're pretty pleased with that, aren't you? Oh, absolutely. Over the moon. Over the moon. You passed on one, the name of Gwyneth and Chris's fruity-sounding daughter, Apple Martin. Oh. Chris Martin. Oh, that's his name? Apple. Yes, of course. That's the one. <laughs> Never mind. Uh, at least we didn't get any fiddledy-fi at the yes. end, uh, <laughs> like last time. Uh, James, congratulations. Well done. Back Thank to you. your seat, please. <laughs> so it was third time lucky for James, and as he goes back to his seat to reach on Fiona, let's meet the player who wants to stop them in their tracks. Please welcome Neil from Hampshire. <laughs> All right, Neil, Fiona and James, they're our champions. How are you, Neil? Very well, thanks. You're very welcome to the show. Uh, you're a pilot. I am indeed, yeah. And uh, what kind of planes do you fly? Uh, Boeing 777. One of the uh, long-haul aeroplanes. How long have you been a pilot for, Neil? Uh, goodness, uh, coming up for 23 years now. OK, so what would be a typical day's work for you? Typical day's work, um, very early start, of course, um, and flying to anywhere within a 12-hour radius of London. And you play and produce electronic music, and you play the piano, the guitar, and you're learning the ukulele. I'm learning the ukulele, yes. <laughs> Perfect. You could serenade all your passengers. This is very true. Maybe I should try that next time I fly. I think a ukulele on plane, this is what you've been missing all your life. <laughs> uh, quick reactions are clearly going to be part of what you do, and they're certainly what's going to be needed if you're going to take on Fiona and James. They're very good. They are. I are you ready to, to play? Indeed. You know the rules. It's best of three, and we move on with our next board. It's a flashing eye, so we'll start there. Let's play Blockbusters. <laughs> Neil plays Fiona and James. What eye are you said to tickle if you play Neil? The Ivories. The Ivories is right. Play the piano, yes. <laughs> One of your strengths anyway. There you go, <laughs> and you're on the board with your first hexagon. Where would you like to go next, Neil? I'll try a D, please, Simon. What D is the surname of the broadcasting dynasty Richard, Jonathan and David, Neil? Dimbleby. Dimbleby is right, yes. <laughs> two out of two. Um, straight up, try B, please. 
What bee is a large monkey with a long face? James. Baboon. And an ornamental bottom. Baboon is the right answer, yes. Your first hexagon, you're on the board, blocking. Uh, may we have an S, please, Simon? What S can be a group of whales or a place of... James. School. Or a place of learning. School is the right answer, yes. <laughs> Two hexagons each. Where next? Uh, may we have a T? What T were the intelligent walking plants who have their day, James? Triffids. In John Wyndham's science fiction story, Triffids is the right answer, yes. <laughs> Where next? May we have an R, please, Simon? What R is the French composer of Bolero? Neil. Ravel. Ravel is right. Yes, well done. <laughs> Your choice next, Neil. Uh, a C, please. What C is a breakaway iceberg? A young whale, James. Calf. Or the fleshy part <laughs> of the lower leg. Calf is right. Well done. <laughs> Were you guessing, James? No. <laughs> <laughs> you looked somewhat surprised as you said the word calf. It, it suddenly clicked. And by suddenly, I mean right at the very, very end. <laughs> yeah, so a guess then. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> We're next. May I have a J, please, Simon? What J is the month which contains... James. July. Zodiac signs of Cancer and Leo. July is the right <laughs> answer. <laughs> Another <Stand>. inspired <laughs> guess. Stand by that. Well, that was a small choice, but you've got it absolutely right, and it gives us a flashing blue board. And, Neil, that means you're going to have to use all those instincts to indeed, get on that buzzer. Indeed. James and Fiona. May we have an F, please, Simon? What F is the fictional character in Oliver Twist, played by Neil? Fagin. By Rowan Atkinson, a revival of the musical Oliver Fagin is right. Well done. Well done. <laughs> there. A very useful white hexagon, but there is still a blue flashing board, which you have to be aware of when you're choosing your next hexagon. Of course. Um, that'll be a Y, then, please, Simon. What Y is the surname of the world-renowned heart surgeon Sir Magdi Neil? Yakub. Yakub is right, yes. <laughs> Disco time. Flashing blue, flashing white. Match point. Neil's choice. Uh, no choice other than the H, please, Simon. What H was the city where Mission Control was based for the first... James. Houston. For the first landing on the moon. Houston is the right answer. Well done. And that's Blockbusters. <laughs>That was a terrific game, guys. James and Fiona sneaking it. Neil, what do you think? Is it pretty much the way you were going to expect the game to go? Uh, I wasn't expecting to um, hopefully come from one behind, but uh, they're super quick over there. They are. <laughs> Warming up nicely, but you are one down and you need to get back on the board, obviously, Indeed. for this next game. Here's our next board. A flashing J. We're going to start there. Let's play Blockbusters. <laughs> What J is a bottle size equal to four... Neil. Jeroboam. Four standard bottles of champagne named after an Old Testament king, Jeroboam, is right. Well done, on the board. Uh, S, please, Simon. What does the first S stand for in the abbreviation of the army unit whose motto is who dares wins? James. Special. Special air service, special is right. Yes, well done, James. <laughs> And you're on the board, too. May we have a T, please, Simon? What T is last if rich man is fifth and poor man is sixth? James. Thief. In the counting rhyme, thief is absolutely right. Well done. <laughs> Tinker, tailor, soldier, sailor, rich man, poor man, beggar man, thief. Well done. May we have a H, please, Simon? What H is the shape of a British 50 pence and 20 pence coin? Neil? It's a heptagon. It is heptagonal. Heptagon is the right answer, yes. <laughs> Two hexagons each. Good game. Neil. A, please, Simon. What A is the on-screen television partner of Deck? James. Ant. Ant is right, yes. <laughs> the rattle of buzzers could be heard around the studio, <laughs> but it was James, of course, who was fastest. We're next. Ah, good Lord. Uh, may I have a B, please? 
What bee is a deciduous tree with bright peeling neel? Beech. Wrong answer. A full question to Fiona and James. What bee is a deciduous tree with bright peeling bark and the surname of Edna in Emmerdale? Fiona. Bert. Birch is the right answer, yes, absolutely. <laughs> Second part of the question, Neil, narrowing it down, Indeed. of course. Where would you like to go next, Fiona and James? Can we have a C, please? What C is also called a hunting leopard and over a short distance, James? A cheetah. Is the world's fastest land mammal, cheetah is the right answer. <laughs> And with Fiona and James one game up against Neil and a blue flashing board, it means that they are one hexagon away from their fourth gold run. Can they get the next question right or could Neil block them? We're going to have to keep them and you waiting until the beginning of the next show. Until then, goodbye. <laughs>Dares as company, but is it lady luck? It's take your pick. Then, variety is the spice of life on 321. And later, could you lift a car above your head? Maybe just leave it to the world's strongest men 2009.